Do you often feel overwhelmed and stressed by the demands of others? Are you constantly saying yes to requests and invitations, even when it means sacrificing your own needs and well-being? If so, you may need to work on setting healthy boundaries. Boundaries are the limits we set for ourselves in our relationships with others. They can be physical, emotional, and mental, and are essential for maintaining healthy relationships and well-being. Healthy boundaries allow us to communicate our needs and limits effectively, avoid resentment and burnout, and prioritize our own well-being. However, many people struggle with setting healthy boundaries, particularly when it comes to saying no. Saying no can be difficult for a variety of reasons, including social and cultural pressure to say yes, fear of rejection, and guilt. But saying no is an important skill to develop, as it allows us to prioritize our own needs and avoid overcommitment. What are healthy boundaries? Before we delve into the challenges of setting boundaries and saying no, it's important to first define what healthy boundaries are. Boundaries are the limits we set for ourselves in our relationships with others. They help us define what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior from others, as well as what we are comfortable with and what we are not. Healthy boundaries are boundaries that are respectful of ourselves and others, and promote healthy relationships. Some examples of healthy boundaries include Communicating your needs and expectations clearly and assertively Saying no to requests or invitations that go against your values or priorities Being honest and transparent about your feelings and opinions Respecting the boundaries of others Taking responsibility for your own emotions and actions on the other hand, unhealthy boundaries can lead to resentment, burnout, and damaged relationships. Examples of unhealthy boundaries include Allowing others to violate your personal space or physical boundaries Compromising your values or beliefs to please others Ignoring your own needs and well-being to please others Being overly critical or controlling of others Blaming others for your own emotions and actions By setting healthy boundaries, you can communicate your needs and expectations effectively, avoid overcommitment, and prioritize your own well-being. Why is it hard to say no? Despite the benefits of setting healthy boundaries, saying no can be challenging for many people. Here are some reasons why. Social and cultural pressure to say yes. Many people feel obligated to say yes to requests or invitations, even when it goes against their own needs and priorities. This can be due to social and cultural expectations to be agreeable, helpful, and accommodating. Fear of rejection. Some people fear that saying no will lead to rejection, disapproval, or conflict with others. This can be especially true in close relationships or with authority figures. Guilt. Saying no can also trigger feelings of guilt or shame, particularly if the request or invitation is coming from someone we care about or respect. This guilt can stem from a belief that we should always put others' needs before our own, or that saying no is selfish or rude. Lack of assertiveness skills. Finally, some people may struggle to say no assertively because they lack the necessary communication skills or fear confrontation. The consequences of not setting healthy boundaries and saying no can be significant. Without healthy boundaries, we may experience resentment, burnout, and damaged relationships. We may also neglect our own needs and well-being, leading to physical and emotional exhaustion. The benefits of setting healthy boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries and saying no can be difficult, but the benefits are significant. Here are some of the positive effects of setting healthy boundaries. Improved relationships. Setting healthy boundaries can lead to more positive and fulfilling relationships. By communicating our needs and expectations clearly and respectfully, we can avoid misunderstandings and conflicts and build trust and respect with others. Increased self-esteem and self-respect. Setting healthy boundaries can also boost our self-esteem and self-respect. By prioritizing our own needs and well-being, we show ourselves that we value and respect ourselves. This can lead to greater self-confidence and a more positive self-image. Reduce stress and anxiety. Saying no and setting healthy boundaries can also reduce stress and anxiety. By avoiding overcommitment and focusing on our own needs, we can reduce feelings of overwhelm and burnout. Overall, setting healthy boundaries is essential for maintaining healthy relationships and well-being. Practical tips for setting healthy boundaries. Developing assertiveness skills and setting healthy boundaries takes practice and effort, but it is achievable. Here are some practical tips for setting healthy boundaries and saying no. Self-reflection and awareness. The first step in setting healthy boundaries is to develop self-awareness and reflection. Take some time to think about your own needs, values, and priorities. 
identify the areas where you may be overcommitting or neglecting your own needs, and make a plan to address them. Learn to say no assertively and respectfully. Saying no assertively and respectfully is an essential skill for setting healthy boundaries. Practice saying no in a firm but respectful way, using I statements to communicate your needs and values. For example, I'm sorry, but I can't commit to that right now. My plate is already full with other projects. Identify and address guilt and other negative emotions. Guilt and other negative emotions can make it difficult to say no and set healthy boundaries. It's important to identify and address these emotions in order to overcome them. Practice self-compassion and remind yourself that it's okay to prioritize your own needs. Seek support and encouragement. Finally, seeking support and encouragement from others can be helpful in developing assertiveness skills and setting healthy boundaries. Talk to trusted friends or family members about your struggles, or consider seeking professional counseling or coaching. By practicing these tips and developing assertiveness skills, you can set healthy boundaries, say no assertively and respectfully, and prioritize your own well-being. Research findings on the importance of setting healthy boundaries. Research has shown that setting healthy boundaries is essential for maintaining mental health and well-being. Here are some research findings on the importance of setting healthy boundaries. Improved mental health. Studies have found that setting healthy boundaries is associated with improved mental health outcomes, including lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. Better relationships. Setting healthy boundaries has been linked to more positive and fulfilling relationships. By communicating our needs and expectations effectively, we can build trust and respect with others and avoid misunderstandings and conflicts. Reduced burnout and exhaustion. Setting healthy boundaries can also reduce feelings of burnout and exhaustion. By avoiding overcommitment and focusing on our own needs, we can maintain a healthier work-life balance and reduce the risk of burnout. Overall, Research supports the importance of setting healthy boundaries for maintaining mental health and well-being. Setting healthy boundaries and saying no can be difficult, but the benefits are significant. By communicating our needs and expectations effectively, we can improve our relationships, boost our self-esteem, and reduce stress and burnout. By prioritizing our own well-being, we show ourselves that we value and respect ourselves, leading to greater self-confidence and a more positive self-image. Remember that setting healthy boundaries takes practice and effort, but it is achievable. By developing assertiveness skills and practicing self-reflection and awareness, you can set healthy boundaries, say no assertively and respectfully, and prioritize your own well-being. Incorporating the practical tips and research-based insights discussed in this video into your life can help you develop the skills and mindset necessary to set healthy boundaries and say no without feeling guilty. Remember to seek support and encouragement from trusted friends and family members, and to prioritize your own well-being in all your relationships. In conclusion, setting healthy boundaries is not only important for your own well-being, but also for maintaining positive relationships with others. So, take the time to reflect on your own boundaries, practice saying no assertively and respectfully, and make a commitment to prioritize your own well-being. You deserve it. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, and subscribe. Share with a friend.